Welcome back. There have been lots of questions about the vehicle component lately, so I suppose this tutorial is overdue. So what does the vehicle component actually do? It moves the pawn to its owning actor at a position defined by the location and rotation of the component itself and blocks a number of controller functions, most notably movement and teleport as long as the pawn remains there. From now on, the pawn is treated as attached to the owning actor of the vehicle component and moves with the actor, for example. This is a convenient way to take the player to a location on a moving platform or ensure a player does not accidentally move out of a vehicle while driving. Lastly, the vehicle component can also move the pawn from the in-vehicle lo location to an exit location, which must be indicated with the scene component so the player can exit the vehicle. Actually, I use the vehicle component all the time to have the pawn seated comfortably on this sofa, for example, during filming. So let me just show you how I set this up. It's as good as any example. First, let's take this sofa here and add the vehicle component. As you can see, it comes with a camera to give us a hint on what the player will see if the pawn is moved into the vehicle since it marks the in-vehicle position of the player pawn's head. Let's position it like this. The camera settings we better leave alone, but here we can determine how long the movement of the pawn takes from the pawn's current position to the in-vehicle position and from the in-vehicle position to the exit location, and what the player sees in that time. Obviously, we can only have a fade if we set the motion to indicate or none, because full motion means the player sees the whole motion. Just play around a bit to see what fits your case best. I will stick with indication and fade in and out. Next we have the tag of the exit component setting down here. This is so the player can leave the vehicle. To set it up, let's copy the tag and I'll set up an error component with the same tag. And we can position that according to a wishes. Finally, we need an interaction component to toggle the vehicle component. We can simply use the good old comp select comp for that. As you can see now, when we select the sofa, the pawn is moved to the sofa to occupy the in vehicle position. And upon another select, the pawn is moved to the exit position and can move freely again. And to show you that the pawn really is attached to the actor, let me convert this sofa into an actor and add a bit more code. This overlap component reacts to the motion controller of the pawn and upon overlap, it moves the sofa a few meters. So now I can go to the in-vehicle position by selecting the sofa and then float with the sofa as long as I put my motion controller here. Lastly, let me remind you that the vehicle component really moves the pawn and not teleports it. And this means if you have movable actors in the way of the pawn, they may be displaced. I even cat captured one example on video. That's all you need to know about the vehicle component, so I'll sign off, see you soon, bye bye.